our belief in pacifism is based on the fact that there, there's a spark of the divine in every person. And under no circumstances should we take the life of another person. When the United States passed their Universal Military Training Act of 1948, it was important to make a statement against militarism. The Fairhope Four, I call them. <laughs> These four young guys refused to register. We were sentenced to a year and a day in uh, prison. They didn't want to draft into the army, and they got sent to jail for a while. Because um, they didn't like want war. And then the judge said to them that if you don't want to be part of this, then you can leave the country. What they had to do was a really hard choice, leaving your country to like a place you've never been. Our prison sentences terminated on October 27th. 1950. So November 4th, we got into our vehicles and started for Costa Rica. <laughs> I'm gonna lay down my heaven low, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the river. I'm gonna lay down my heaven low, way down, down by the riverside, study. War no more. I ain't gonna study a war no more. Ain't gonna study a war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more. Maybe it was presumptuous of us, but we just had this feeling inside of us this is what we must do. This group of Quakers leaving the United States for conscientious reasons. I don't think I'd ever heard of Costa Rica. I didn't really know where Costa Rica was or ever hear of it before. I guess we just foolhardy or otherwise, there we were just burning our bridges. <laughs> it all happened so fast. Costa Rica, they don't have a standing army. They're not a militaristic society. So that rung a bell in our minds as well. <laughs> Let's go create a new, a new vision. Going out of the country to live somewhere and be pioneers? That sounds pretty exciting when you're young. Starting all over again? That sounds like it'd be interesting. <laughs> What is it like to call Monteverde home? It's a place where you're comfortable, a place where there's a lot of nature. It's not any danger. We're in the middle of like a forest, so that's like very calming. Like you can just go outside, climb a tree or something. Monteverde is really like a a special sacred place of like amazing, beautiful nature that is rare and not many people get to see. What makes Monte Verde special is all the nature and all the um, all the trees and all the animals. 